Breaking news. Northern Governor and Tango 9 Southern Governors saying, if you don't want headers, where do you want them to go? Gombe Governor. Hello, my wonderful people. Gombe Governor is antagonizing Southern Governors. You know, the Southern Governors starting from uh, September the 1st. Yes, that is if they have done their homework, if they have dot their I's and they have crossed their T's, the ban on open grazing is supposed to commence in the southern region of the country. Now, the southern governors have had two meetings so far, of which some governors, one particular one, has not been in neither of the meetings nor sent a representative. Some other governors could not attend one or the other but did not make the other governors feel that they were having a meeting that does not, you know, concern him on all that. He sent what we call a rep dissent representative. But this particular governor did not go, did not send a representative, and do not care. You see, so right now, the decision they reached then with, from the two meetings was, we are putting a bound on open grazing. Aside that, they have set a date by the second, you know, by the second meeting, a date was set on which the second grazing, open grazing, uh, you know, uh, when, when the ban was supposed to commence. The modalities was they go back to their House of Representatives and they put things in place to ensure that the law, it becomes a law. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Northern governor antagonized southern governor saying, if you don't want headers, where do you want them to go? They go nowhere. Governor Iyawa Yahaya of Gombe State is seeking more understanding from the southern governor, his counterparts, on the faith of headers following the governor's recent ban on open grazing in their states. He says in the interview with correspondent in Gombe that every Nigerian in and out of government must do his best to ensure he's his brother's keeper and the government must not allow what the southern governor is about to do. The issue of insecurity in the country has been a burning one over the years. Do you, do you accept that this is what it is? And his response was yes. We thank God we have been living peacefully and harmonically together in Nigeria all this while. However, there are instances where some misunderstanding arose which led to disintegration of lives, property, and even although almost destruction of the foundation of the whole nation. I am happy to say that Gombe State is relatively peaceful peaceful despite so many things very conspicuous people are of different background work live together and see one another as brothers and sisters we are living well it has been like this for some time now of our grandparents and grand grandparents even to this time without peace there will be no mutual understanding and we have been working on this developing it to make sure we live as a couple where understanding is the bedrock we have all knowledge we cannot claim to have we, we have some knowledge we cannot claim to have all knowledge we cannot claim that we are not learning we are learning every day but my worry especially with the south Southern governors is that they had a meeting and they have bound open grazing in the southern region. Where do they want headsmen to go? The southern governors must explain very well what they mean by bound on open grazing. If you bound Fulani headsmen, this is what they do. This is their livelihood. This is how they move around and get, ar get along with things that they should do. If you bound them and say open grazing is bound in the south, what do you want them to do? This is what I want the southern governors to answer before they commence their bound on open grazing. I have an understanding and I know that they've said September the 1st, but what will you do to the to the Fulani headsmen who have nowhere to go, who have nowhere to graze their animal? This is rather very unfair on the southern governor's part thinking that bounding open grazing will bring about the peace they want, they have to really think about how security can be developed in their states rather than facing Fulani headsmen. I don't think Fulani headsmen are their problem. They have not sat down to put structure in place to ensure safety of their people. People live together and Fulani headsmen are not the cause of their problem. So my people, here you go. You've heard it. 
uh, Northern Governor, few days to go to the ban on open grazing to commence. Gombe Governor is saying, I don't understand what the Southern Governor means by saying there is a ban on open grazing. If they say there is a ban on open grazing, what do they want Fulani headsmen to do? Is this question? Well, my people, what do you what do you think? Because this man does not believe that the Fulani headsmen have caused any kind of problem. In his opinion, like he earlier uh, explained, he said in Gombe State, they are living very well. They are living very well with Fulani headsmen. Don't forget that him himself is a Fulani headsman. Okay, him himself, the governor speaking, is a headsman himself. That is a Fulani. So the clash between Fulani headsmen, if, it's funny enough that people keep talking about the Fulani headsmen and never mention the people that they kill. It's sad because I don't understand it. Does it mean the grazing of the cattle is more important than lives and property being destroyed? You know, I mean, in, in, in Dubai, where they all go to, as we speak, I don't want to even go into that. Do you know how many governors, ministers are in the UK now as we speak now, now, me and you talking? Do you know how many of They've gone to UK to relax. They've destroyed Nigeria. There is no place of safety that people can just go around, sit down and have some drinks. Yes, then they run away from the country. You are asking the Southern governors to put security in order, but you are not mentioning the activities of the Fulani headsmen, the evil they are doing. Nobody is paying attention. It's sad. I don't understand it. Is it that, is it, that it is better for them to kill people? Do you know what is going on, uh, for instance, in, 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 uh, in Benue State? Do you have a thought of what is going on? How people are being massacred? Ah, do you have a do you have a, do you have do you have an understanding? Yet is this cow? Is this cow? Dubai that you go to, do you see cows? Do you, do you see them grazing the cows? Are there no Fulanis in Dubai? God, um, even even uh, what's it called? Uh, UK that you go to, do we see cows on the road? Do you see cows? Why is it only in Nigeria that cow must graze on the road? Why can't the government put a budget to put what we call ranching? Now you are speaking regarding the southern governors. Do you know that Buhari cleverly has put his state in order or you are not aware? Please go to uh, Castina State and see that Buhari has started cattle ranching already to solve problem there, but to give others problem. Nigerians, this is the crop of people you are living with too. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Don't forget you have a voice. Please speak out. Bye.